Hey guys, and welcome to this video. And today I want to talk about hair mineralization. And for you guys who know me, my name is Alex, and I've been suffering hair loss since I was 18 years old. And here is a picture of me back in 2007, a picture of me in 2008, and a picture of me in 2009. So you kind of can see different uh, hair loss stages that I was having back in the past. And basically, in today's video, I want to focus on mineralization of the hair. And mineralization is a process that happens because of either DHT, of stress, or inflammation, and sometimes a combination of all of them. And what happens when one is having mineralization on the scalp or on the hair is that the hair become weaker and lighter in color and then they kind of shed out. And I was having this problem several times in my hair loss journey because, uh, because of different factors. I was not uh, taking care of scalp inflammation, I was not blocking DHT or I was having uh, stress problems in my life. And all of them led to uh, kind of mineralization of my hair. And last time it did happen was uh, six months ago in uh, 2020, it actually did happen. And you can see in uh, my videos uh, back uh, from that time is that my hair started to become lighter in color. And for me, it is always a weakest spot is the temples, right? So when I have a problem with my scalp, what I notice is that my temples start to become weaker on, uh, on uh, the sides and uh, they basically start to become weaker in color, lighter in color and weaker and start to shed out. And you can see clearly in the video from that time is that my hair started to become um, militarized. And it basically become uh, a problem because I was not blocking DHT at that time. Because I was without a DHT blocker uh, for around two and a half, three months. And uh, what happened is my hair started to become weak again. So this is basically shows how important it is to block DHT. Because if you don't do it, uh, if you do have a DHT issue going on the scalp and you don't address it, the hair will easily fall out even if the other parts of the treatment are perfect, right? Because I did take care of my inflammation at that time. I did uh, manage the stress and I also was uh, making sure that I don't, didn't have any dermatitis and my diet was perfect and nutrition was perfect. But still, because I was not blocking DHT, my hair started to become lighter and weaker in color and mineralization process started uh, start to kick in and it happened around uh, after uh, two, two and a half, three months without taking finasteride. So uh, basically it shows how important it is to address this hair loss issue from every angle, right? Because if there is some kind of weak spot in your hair loss treatment, it uh, won't work, right? You need to always be sure that you have optimized everything, that you have blocked DHT, that you have addressed scalp inflammation, that you have addressed stress and every other possibility like nutrition deficiencies, they all need to be uh, taken care of to making sure that you do get results and you are able to sustain those results for long term, right? Because even for me, who have been dealing with this hair loss issue for so many years, I still got mineralization because I'm not taking care of DHT part of the plan, basically. Thanks for watching this video. Hey, it's Alex, and if you did find my content valuable, you need to check out the training videos that I have made. And basically, it will show you my personal journey of stopping my hair loss and getting full stock here without doing any investing methods. And it also will show you how I was able to help other guys do the same. And you can find the link below this video in the description text. And basically, it will help you to avoid wasting your time and energy on hair loss treatments that just don't work. And over the years, I have seen so many guys who try different methods and different treatments and they don't get results and they kind of give up solving their hair loss issue. And I don't want you to be one of those guys. Also, if you do enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel because I upload three new videos every single week and I also hold live stream every other week where you can ask your hair related questions and get answers them live. Plus, I give away bonuses for subscribers who attend live streams live. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.